Hi, today we're going to talk about suturing together a T-juncture. Welcome to Surgical X, Surgery Explained. My name is Paul Halfman. I'm a certified surgical first assistant. And to help with today's topic, I've created this foam T-incision. Right, it looks just like what it sounds like. We have an incision here, and we have an incision coming off this way. You might come across this type of incision in, say, a breast reduction case where the T is inverted, and this lower line is the inframammary fold, and this upper incision goes up to the areola. Uh, you might also come across this in something deeper, say, um, a complex fascial tear. And it's helpful to know effective techniques to bring that together. Uh, I'm going to show you one of them. Let's take a look. All right, what do we have here? I've taken this foam, I've cut it into a T. You can see I've made a T type incision and we're going to repair that. Okay, actually I'm going to invert it. It might be simpler to understand. So I'm going to have four points of interest on this. Here's where I'm going to insert. Then I'm going to come across to this point, here, and here. So we have four points. One, two, three, four. You need to bring all those points together. So let's do a sub Q type suture, which means I'm going to come below the dermis. I see my incision is right about here. I'm going to come over a little bit. I'm going to insert below the dermis come up through the dermis and out. Okay, so that was going deep to superficial. Okay, next one, I'm gonna go superficial straight across from this point and I'm gonna stay superficial to the other side of that juncture all right now it came out superficial there whoa and i'm going to go back in superficial here and exit superficial again and that brings us to our final point now the tail where we started is deep. So I want to finish deep and I will keep my tails on the same side of this knot. How do we do that? Let me set myself up here for success. A little tricky one handed, but I think we got it. So we're coming across right about here. I'm going to come in superficially. In the middle of the dermis, exit deep. In the dermis, or underneath it. Now, I have both the tails on the same side. Underneath this knot, underneath this suture, so my knot will be buried. Okay. Let's bring that all together. And look at that, it comes right together. Uh, I could tie a knot in that and we'll be done. Do that real quick. Cutting it flush and then that's buried. Okay, now, what if you have more of a Y pattern? Let's look at this. This is, this is more of a Y pattern, but it's essentially the same thing, okay? This is your straight line intersected by this upright incision. And we're gonna do the same thing, but we wanna be mindful of this tip. We don't want to put our suture through that tip. Why? 
Well, any, anytime we pass a suture through tissue, it, it's going to cause some harm to that tissue. And all we really want to do is bring the tissues together so that they can heal themselves. We're, we're not doing any healing by bringing tissues together. We're allowing the tissues to heal themselves. So just like I did in the first demonstration, I'll come in deep to superficial. And then stay superficial till I come back out deep on that last side. So here, coming all the way around superficially. We'll do another one. And then on this last one, let's make sure our tail's where it wants needs to be. I think it's in the wrong spot. Let's fix that real quick. Yeah, it should be under here. No. There. So that looks like that. Then our last one, we want to finish deep. And have our tail come out on the same side beneath the knot. Now notice I stayed away from this tip of the tissue. All right. There, close look. Now put a couple throws in here. It should come together. Nicely. If you're not sure how your suture is going to look after you put it in, give it a tug. T juncture suture. Pretty simple exercise, I understand. But unless you've seen it, you might not know how to do it. And you need to demonstrate it in order to gain confidence in yourself and confidence in the rest of your team. Well, Thank you for watching. Thank you, Rand, my colleague from California, and Tom from Minnesota for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Please, you guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of your patients. And please, do the right thing every time. Thank you.